Welcome back to part three of the electrolytic gold refining cell series of videos. Here's our shark's tooth. And I've got this outside so that you can see how this looks in the sunlight. It's just incredible looking. This is the anode bar. This was the 10 3 ounce anode bar and we dissolved it in the electrolyte and had it played out onto our titanium cathode. And that's what this is. Look at that thing, man. It is just really, I don't see, I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but that gold is just really, really very sparkly and beautiful looking. Okay, I think we'll take this back in now. I just wanted to uh, show what it looks like in the sunlight. We'll take this back in now and uh, try to get that gold scrap scraped off the uh, titanium cathode. titanium cathode. I'm going to try to scrape this off here now as we can. I remember from my last experiment with this stuff, gold stuck firmly to the cathode. Alright, I got it to release. I just kind of pried it off up near the top. Now we'll just break it apart and get it off of our titanium cathode. There it comes. It's gone. I made the cathode a little bit of a wedge shape. And I rounded the edges with a grinding wheel so that it didn't have anything to really grab onto. There it goes. Got most of it to release. There's still a little bit on the back here. We'll deal with that later. Here's our pure gold. of it and uh, I think what we're going to do with this is just leave it like it is maybe break off some chunks and offer a few pieces for sale on my eBay site it's pretty tightly bound there's a piece something like this offer pieces like that for sale on my eBay site. If I can't sell it for that, I'll just hang on to it. This gold is far too valuable to be trading for paper dollars. Let's get a weight on this shark's tooth. If you remember from part two, this thing was the anode. I think it weighed 311.3 grams of pure gold before we did the electrolytic process on it. Let's see what we got for weight on this thing now. It only weighs 60.7 grams. I'll write that right on the side of this beaker. Tooth. Shark's tooth. 60.7 grams. Okay, that's 60.7 times 140. That's $8,498 for this 60.7 gram shark's tooth. And again, if you don't want it for that much, don't buy it. Don't, don't worry about it. I mean, uh, it is incredible looking, but if I can't sell it, then I'll just hang on to it. 
it's only going to go higher. So I don't lose anything by not selling it. I just hang on to it. Time is on my side, and it will continue to go up in value because it's pure gold. Let's get a weight on an empty beaker. We got 405.3. So I'm going to write that right up here on the beaker. 405.3. Let's zero out the beaker. And I've got the uh, titanium cathode here. I'm gonna try to scrape a little bit of this gold material off if I can. If I can't, I just won't bother with it. Now let's add the gold from this beaker. See what our yield is going to be here. All right, looks like we've got 249.5 grams. And I'll write that right on here 249.5. Go ahead and add the weight of the shark's tooth. Now we've got 310.1 grams. We started with, uh, what was it, 311.3. So there may be just a little bit more stuff on this cathode, but not much. So we're pretty close to what we started with here. Okay, we're going to offer some of this for sale on my eBay site, 140 per gram. Don't squawk at me about the price. I really don't want to sell it. The longer I hold this, the more valuable it will become. What I do now is just boil this in some distilled water to get all the uh, excess chloral auric acid solution off of there and then we'll uh, dry it off break up a few little pieces and offer them for sale just like they are this solution had my uh, shark's tooth in it it's got a little bit of a yellow tint so it's going to have a little bit of chloral auric acid in it we'll add this to my waste container this solution is the uh, distilled water that i use to soak the refined gold on the titanium and a uh, cathode after we uh, got done completed with the refining it's going to have a little gold in it so what i'll do is i'll just add this to my waste containers and uh, gold will come out of solution in there and we'll recover it later what i'm going to do with the electrolyte is i'm going to reuse this electrolyte and i'm going to repeat the experiment but this time what i'm going to do is i've got a bunch of carrot gold in this sack here and I'm going to encourt this gold with silver. And then we're going to pull the silver and the base metals out with the nitric acid. And then after I get done with all the uh, nitric acid boils, what I normally do with this is go to uh, Aqua Region and refine it. But instead, we're going to do the nitric boils, pull all the silver and base metals. And then when I get done with that, I'm going to melt the encorded gold with all the silver and base metals pulled going to melt the gold into an anode bar and then we're going to run this anode bar through the electrolytic gold cell and I'm going to reuse the same electrolyte for that experiment. I had the gold boiling in distilled water now for about a half an hour I guess. I'm going to pull this down off the heat, let it cool off and what we'll do is get that water off of there. It could contain a little bit of gold so I'll add that to my waste containers. And then we'll go ahead and dry out the gold and offer it for sale. This will conclude part three of the uh, electrolytic gold refining cell series of videos. Thank you for watching.